All right, so we're doing something a bit different today. It's uh, pretty deep in quarantine. I've lost my mind at this point. We're just gonna have some fun. This is the girlfriend makeup challenge. What is this called? My boyfriend does my makeup today. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a terrible idea. How much experience do you have with makeup? I've worn a bit of makeup. Palettes on palettes on palettes, yeah. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so the, the thing is to do this seriously. It's not like a joke. It's like I'm actually gonna try and do a good job. Why did I agree to this? This is the only hint you get. Yeah. Is that this is wet. <laughs> this is wet? This is wet. I already got it wet for you. And what is that exactly? You're gonna have to find out, aren't you? That's the whole point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brushes, makeup brushes, mm -hmm. naked, MAC, I do know what MAC is. But do you know what the product is inside is the question. Makeup. Makeup. Yes, it's makeup. I'm actually scared right now. What is happening out here? So you're drinking. <laughs> Better me than you. You're that worried about what's gonna happen and you're drinking. Okay. Listen, I don't know what you're gonna do to my face. Eyeliner's gonna end up on my lips. Can't know. He's like, what's an eyeliner? I know what eyeliner is. You put a line on your eye. With what? With liquid, liquid liner. I should probably be drinking during this as well. Okay, so I've had makeup before. Nice clean face and a foundation of foundation is what we do. And fuck. If you become a makeup influencer, it's because of me. Okay, well, let's not hold our breath. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. Drink. Drink a lot. Hi, I am your makeup technician. Thank you. Which is pretty sure that's what they call it. No. And your makeup artist. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, what kind of look are we kind of feeling today? Are we thinking like a smoky mm -hmm. eye? You know, are we feeling something very gothic and feeling kind of dramatic? Yeah. Or is this more like a girl next door? Like, I just woke up like this. I'm not even wearing makeup. I just have naturally dewy skin. Well, that's me right now. We're going to go for something like dramatic, like a date night look. Okay, a date night. Let's go for a look that you would like to see of me when you pick me up for a date. No hints, tips, and secrets. It's all you. Well, first thing, have you is your face clean? Oh, it's ready. It's ready for me. Okay. It's ready. Okay. Well, this is gonna be good because this, as I can see very clearly, uh, eye um, powders. <laughs> eye powders. Eye powders. Okay. So you feel a bit frisky. It's yeah. maybe you know like you kissed on the first date and now it's like the second. You gotta, like, reel them in. Yeah, okay, so we're trying to get laid tonight. Hook, line, and sinker. Okay, we're gonna get you laid tonight. Let's... I got you. Okay, so it's gonna be a bit of a smoke show. Um, it's gonna be a smoke show. Um, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna do the eyes, uh, second. First, we're just gonna put a general... Yeah. A general kind of powder on you. Oh, snow, yes. We're just gonna... Start with just a little, and I'm using this brush here, um, and I'm just going to be putting a little bit on the brush, and then I'm just ever so gently. Is that nice and gentle? Yeah, you're being so gentle. Okay. It's like you've done this before. <laughs> so I'm not seeing a dramatic change yet, but this is me kind of setting the foundation for the vamp that you are about to become. Now, you've got to do the neck as well. That's very important. A lot of girls forget to put powder on the neck. It's just a classic mistake. Rookie error. Rookie but not me, though. Not with that plunging neckline. In fact, we're going to put a bit on the décolletage. The, clav the clavicle the clavicolage. Clavicolage. The clavicolage. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about these foundations we're laying. This is good. Okay. So that was a good start. Yeah, drink more. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, let's start with the lipstick. That is not lipstick. Oh, I'm gonna need that. That's roller lash. That's gonna be good. I'm gonna pick out the things I'm gonna need. Then I've got a good system here. Oh, yes. What color is this? That is gonna be perfect. And then, I'm gonna need some mascara. Liquid eyeliner. There it is. This one is 
Becca. Becca. What is it though? HD concealer. That's good. A little rouge for the cheeks. <clears throat> just a little bit. My face looks like a hoe. No, it's just like a whore's pinch, they yeah. call it. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be the eye makeup. Okay, we're gonna need a separate brush for that. And I think for the eyes, Urban Decay. Let's have a look here. Oh, now we're talking. Yes, honey. Oh my lord, these are beautiful. This I could really get into. Now, it's not about just applying things willy-nilly. It's about... Okay, I think we're gonna go with that kind of palette. Half-baked. Creep. Gun metal. Put some lipstick on. Okay. So, yeah, you're just gonna kind of... We're gonna put it on the bottom. And then you're gonna... Like that. Perfect. And I'm gonna oh, that actually looks good. Yikes. Not what you want to hear from your makeup artist. Okay, maybe that's too much, but maybe it's not enough also. Okay, it's on your teeth, so... <laughs> Give a big smile to the camera. Part of being a good makeup artist is I'm just gonna wipe a bit of makeup off the teeth, do a little bit of cleanup drops, even the... Okay, now, like that. Let me just... Well, just a bit more... A bit more natural. No, just... <laughs> oh, lip liner. Lining the lip. That's what we need. I'm gonna find some kind of pen and I'm gonna do an outline around the lip. Oh, God. The one thing that you need. Oh. No, we'll stick with that. Oh, man. Is there a lip liner? A lip pen? Maybe. Well, that's not helpful. That's why it's called a challenge. We're gonna come back to that. The lips could be finessed a little more, but we're gonna move on to the eyes now. Let's see, what kind of color would go well with that? Oh yeah, that's more in the right wheelhouse. Think. Now you're gonna just close your eyes and we're just going to ever so delicately paint this on. That's very good. <laughs> very good. And what you're doing is following the natural contour of the eye socket. Okay, so you can see I'm doing it almost like the McDonald's golden arches. It's kind of like two Two arches. Oh god. Getting a little bit of a black eye vibe here. But that's okay, you're a tough modern woman, you know? I'm rugged. You're 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 so rugged. That's gonna be good. There we go. And you wanna take it high up to the eyebrow? <laughs> I can just tell that's not true as I say it. So we're gonna get no, that's definitely wrong. Oh boy. That's probably oh no, okay. <laughs> So this is an avant-garde style where we go up to the eyebrow. We follow the curvature of the eyebrow and it's big in Germany right now. Beautiful. That looks great. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Now, very important. The old super slim liquid eyeliner. This could be dangerous. Now, you just trust me. I know what I'm doing. Uh, it's going along the bottom, so I'm just going to draw this. Oh no, this can't possibly. It's probably going on top, actually. Let me just do that. Get, and get this line here. Okay, that's 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 really something. Ooh. Okay, top and bottom. It's a symmetrical look. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> now we've committed to that, so now we have to, it's kind of an Egyptian motif. Oh yeah, we're going for like a wing. Yeah, no, yes, it's a wing. It's it's kind of a cat eye, it's what I call a downward facing New Zealand cat eye. This is a big statement that we're making. 
This is high fashion. Great. Now, a little bit of rougey, rougey, rouge. Pretty sure this is for the eyes, but who says, no, that could totally be for your, um, that could be for your cheeks. Very important is you have to use a different brush. You can't mix them up. You can't, that's amateur hour. If you think I'm gonna do the eye and then use the same brush for the cheek. That's crazy talk. This is the pro tip. You are looking at the colors that you're working with and then you're looking for a brush that has a similar color on the end. And that's how you know that that's what that brush is for. So I look at that and I'm like, that's pretty similar to that one. So therefore, this is the brush. This is so easy. <laughs> this is a beautiful canvas that I'm painting on. Okay, now, are you a smarty pants or are you a bit of a firecracker? Choose carefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, the flower child's not really gonna tie in. We're going with a dramatic look. I think to tie in with the lip, we're gonna go with this rebel. So we are just going to rouge up these cheeks and you just, in circles like this, there we go. That is beautiful. Just gives it a little bit of drama on a drab day here in Portland. Oh God, no. <laughs> I don't even know if this is meant to go on your cheeks. Not what you wanna hear from your makeup artist or technician, if you will. Okay, I like that. I think that's very good. Now, what do we need to put this thing over the top? Eyelashes. That's what this needs. Mascara, we call it in the industry. I think I already took some out. A real makeup artist comes prepared. Mascara. Perfect. Oh, that's definitely mascara. This product here is uh, what I like to use is uh, Tartare. Uh, tartiest. Tartiest. Here's the tartiest on the market. Now, honey, now you're gonna have to be brave for me. I'm dipping it in the ink, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of like, you're gonna come down with the eyelash onto it. I'm not even gonna lift it. You're gonna do all the work. Now, blink, blink, that's good. There's not enough ink on this. Yep, oh God. Good, 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 and now, Blink. Blink. Blink 182, great band. All right. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, they're really coming alive now. This is putting it over the top. And then the bottom a little bit. Now, we don't know how to do the bottom, but we're just gonna, we're gonna paint it on ever so delicately. <laughs> yes. This is definitely gonna get you sponsored. <laughs> that's good. Okay, good girl, good girl. Yeah! You know, this is very Natalie Portman and Black Swan. And that's exactly what I was going for, in case you're wondering. To tie the look together, I'm gonna manually actually adjust that. Now, you may think it's a little unprofessional to use your finger, but actually at all the fashion houses in Paris and Milano, they do this very thing. Perfect. Let me have a look at my canvas. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. Okay, what else do we need? What's gonna put this thing over the frickin' top? Maybe just a hint of like glitter or something. Yes, that's what it is. It's a little dash of gold. Trick, trick. Um, oh yeah! Now that's just gonna give a little bit of sparkle and shine, just like his eyes are gonna be sparkling when he looks at you on that date. And don't be shy about even putting it up on the forehead just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Contouring. So follow the natural contour of the forehead and the cheek contour and the chin contour. Get that sparkle in there. This is a forgotten area as well. Really just everywhere on the face I think is good. And even a bit on the neck. Like I said, you can't neglect the neck. Oh God, no, this is way too much. My favorite part is you didn't even use the one hint I gave you. Oh God, what was that? <laughs> now, now. Am I a neck model now? Yeah, yeah, you look like you've been through some pretty heavy shit. <laughs> I'm feeling quite close to the end now. Just smooth 
smooth that out. I'm gonna adjust, I'm gonna make an adjustment. I'm actually gonna put on a different lipstick. I'm gonna blend, I'm gonna do a lip blend. It's so dramatic in the eyes that we need to match that with the lips. We're gonna blend this on. This is a plum, a plummy look. I think that actually does look better. It's quite a lot better, oops, okay. And don't worry, we'll be, now. And then manually correct it with the fingers. <sighs> this is fully professional, I promise. Are you doing some Milan? Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering if I am going to become a makeup artist after this. Now, teeth, show me the teeth. So we do a final wipe down of the teeth with your finger. I think it's... <laughs> I think it's okay. Can I look at it? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, now that I look at it. Oh boy, I mean, you're such a beautiful girl and I'm like, found the one way to... <clears throat> Big so, reveal. Yeah. Oh boy. And let's see what you think. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. You did, oh yeah, and that like, mm, mm hmm So talk me through it. What have I done here? Tell me where I went wrong, because I feel like I did go wrong somewhere. You went wrong here. <laughs> so the general face region. <laughs> well, that's the black swan homage. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you didn't go wrong anywhere. It's beautiful. Really taken. The lid to eyebrow action. This is gonna shake up the makeup industry. This is a makeup shake up. Plump lips who? Those things are kissable. A little bit smudgy. Are they kissable? Didn't make them any worse. So overall, how would you score this? Uh, out of five or 10? Out of 10. Negative ten. four. Negative four. My one tip to you, was that the sky's wet? Oh, you did say and that. You didn't even look at it. There's no foundation. There's no concealer. There's no eyebrows. This is a learning curve. I've learned a lot. And I know. Next this is time, the only way I'm going to do my makeup. It honestly has some artistic merit, I feel. Yeah. Okay, the application. The application's terrible. And I'm the first to admit. And don't be nice and tell me it's fine. I know it could be better. But I feel like the vibe that I was going for, mm -hmm. you can kind of tell, and I think that carries it through. Natalie Portman who? That's right. I am a black swan. Oh. So knowing that this is wet, what should I have done with this? Put foundation on with this? Put foundation on. You don't need concealer, your skin's perfect. I'm not really sure how to end this train wreck. It's been a humiliating experience, and let's not play into stereotypes that, oh, he's just a... A dumb guy that doesn't know anything about makeup. Maybe I should learn something about makeup. Maybe you should teach me and maybe we'll do another one of these where I actually do a good job and I study between now and then and get my shit together. Or I do your makeup. I'll make you look real good. I'm ready right now. <laughs> do you want me to take the makeup off or are you going to do that yourself? God, thanks. You give me like a little Kylie Jenner action?